Hello, this is Mr. Huff, and this time we're going to do another revolution, but this time we're going to use a subtractive method to make the rim. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, do a set up a revolve. So I'm going to do my sketch for that. Now what we're going to do is create a pattern to revolve completely around to make a solid surface. Okay, so in this case, I've created a closed loop sketch using a couple of splines to make just a weird shape. We're going to finish that sketch and then revolve it. For the revolve axis, choose any circular pattern. And then finish that. Okay, now we're going to turn off the section views and you can see that we have a really interesting little face there that's curved okay so the next thing i'm going to do is we're going to set an offset plane and put it just above this so that we can cut some holes down through this so let's start by adding a plane offset we're going to choose this one and we're going to pull it up actually it's a little bit far right now so let's push that down i want just a little bit of clearance between the top of that face and the plane. So I've got a face there. I had some trouble with the uh, holes getting set in the right place, so let's try again. So I'm going to choose plane one. We're going to start a sketch on plane one. We're going to press in for normal. 
and then P to turn off the planes. And let's do the arrow keys until we're facing this. All right, we want to add a shape that's kind of going to overlap this curvy part. So let's just use some lines. Let's say that we want a lightning bolt here. So we're just going to kind of sketch out a lightning bolt shape. kind of like this maybe and the main thing is it has to be a closed loop so this is our lightning bolt we're gonna finish actually now we're gonna do a circular pattern so we're gonna choose circular pattern we have this is our shape and we're going to tell it that we want more than three. So we just need to find where the number is. Let's put 10. So we're going to double click on the three, change it to 10. And now we have 10 lightning bolts. OK, we're going to finish that sketch. So now we have these. What we want to do is punch those through that one extruded or that one revolved piece there. So what we're going to do is press extrude. We're going to choose sketch three. We're going to tell it through all and we're going to give it a no. We're going to choose remove. It's got to be remove through all and we're going to choose merge scope part three. So that should just punch holes through all of part three and it would ignore part two and one. So when we hit finish, we should have holes cut through there like that that only occur in part three, not in part one or part two. OK. So now we have that done. We could go through and do fillets and chamfers and that sort of thing. Let's throw a couple of uh, chamfers on here. So we're going to do one here and uh, one on the. Let's do one on this circle. Where did that go? We'll do one on the inside here and the inside here. And we'll do one on the outside here and a little one right here also. OK. So now we have some chamfers all over the place to kind of give it some more look. Now we have three parts over here. Let's do a Boolean and then we're going to choose all three parts. Holding down the shift key, union, check. Now we have one continuous part. We're going to right click on this, edit appearance, and we're going to make it look metallic. Then we're also going to rename this part custom subtracted. 